Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Ruth Marquise with Keller Williams Real Estate. Um, I wanted to talk to you today about when is the right time to contact an agent. Um, I have a like, I start giggling on the phone sometimes because people are so funny. Like, um, I was talking to one of my clients because he, he was just like spelling out his name and he knows he has an accent, you know, you know, I'm Haitian, so yeah, my people. So, um, he was just like saying, you know, A is an apple, B is an bomb, U is an ugly. And I was just cracking up when he said U was an ugly. I was just like laughing. And then, <laughs> so, and then the, another person, good morning. Another person was like, um, he was like, you know, I want to buy a house, but I don't want to, I, I don't want to get started. I, I don't want to get started until July. Is that okay? And I was like, I mean, I'm still going to be here, so that's good. <laughs> so I wanted to talk to you today about um, when's the right time to contact an agent. Um, everybody seems to think that you're supposed to contact an agent when you have everything together, but what if you don't know what to do? So I just want to give you three tips real quick on what to do, like when you should contact an agent, not like the day you write about house, but it's a process. So I just wanted to let you know like when it's okay because um, the right person is not gonna rush you. The right person is not going to make you go faster than you wanna go. That's why we talked about the A, B, and C buyer. I ask my buyers that because I wanna know their timeline, their time schedule. Another thing I wanna know is how much are you comfortable paying in a monthly, you know, in your monthly mortgage because I don't want to give you something that you can't handle or you feel like this was too much money and why why am I in this, you know, because everything's beautiful and nice when you first move in, but like imagine when you get your car, you get your car and you're like, "Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. What? I can handle that 459." And then that 459 turns to, "Dang, I got to pay 459." And that's 2 years later, and this is broken and that's broken, so I don't want people to feel that way. So I rather you tell me what's comfortable. That way you're not stretching yourself and we could just find a house and pre-approve you according to that like the area that you want to stay in. All right, so here's tip number one. Call your real estate agent when you don't know how to get started. Like, you don't know what to do to get started. So you don't know what you need. You don't know what your steps are. I can write, I can make 100 videos, but if I never know your situation, I cannot personally tailor a custom-made plan for you and what you need to do. So that's a very important. If you don't know the, even the basics of what you need, and <clears throat> I might say a blanket amount. But nobody knows that, like I might say you need $5,000, right? But you might really need $3,000 or $3,500 because you wanted to buy a house way less than what I projected. Or you may need $8,000 because you wanted to buy a house way more. You make way more money and your credit is good, you know? So everybody's situation is different. So to find out what you need to do, you can call an, your agent a year ahead of time and start creating a plan because a lot of times if something is not going right, like don't pay your rent in cash. Somebody might pay their rent in cash and now they have to wait 12 whole months and pay their rent, you know, with a check or money order or whatever. And they could have just talked to somebody and that would have helped them to, you know, when they weren't even thinking about it, putting, you know, buying a house, they could have already been prepared with that kind of information. So if you don't know what to do to get, to get started, contact your agent then. The number two, <laughs> when you have half of your money saved, contact your agent because um, what happens is when you don't have, like people, people get like a little stressed out about having the money. But if you've already proven to yourself that you can come up with half or you're confident in your saving skills or you know or you don't spend money all the time or you're just in a period in your life where you're just like this I have to have this once you get to halfway like it's still a two more month like two more month process where you got to get pre-approved like if you're still saving like it takes a month for me to you know um, basically to find you a house and to close on that house you know if we find one really quickly so if you have half the money saved, now you can trust yourself. Like, okay, I'm not gonna spend all my money. <laughs> like, so that's all, right? So half the money saved, call your agent. Um, number three, when you see an improvement in your credit, if you already know your credit is not doing what it needs to do, and you see an improvement in your credit, um, I was meeting with somebody and um, we met a couple months ago, and the credit was being worked on or started to be worked on and now it was at a different place and it makes her you know qualify for something totally you know different so that's something that you need to 
do if you know your credit is improving go ahead and do what you need to do because let me tell you something sometimes like when your credit is good like don't take it for granted. I hear a lot of people be like I used to be a 720 but then something happened like you don't know what's going to enter on your credit report sometimes sometimes you didn't do anything wrong it might be identity theft I don't see why, see why I can't see myself but anyway there we go light <laughs> um, yeah so you might have not done anything wrong so when your credit is good that's when you want to contact your agent so if you have any questions please comment below and let me know if this video was helpful thank you so much and i will talk to you tomorrow and we'll talk about what to look for in a real estate agent bye this is ruth marquise hanks reporting live with keller williams real estate bye